So here's yet another one about a young guy who thought he was in a magnificent relationship until out of the blue, his girlfriend blindsided him, his girlfriend of two and a half years, saying that she wants to open up the relationship. And let's just say that when he eventually came to his senses and, 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 the, and stopped being blindsided, she wasn't very happy with his response to the situation. Now, I'll be going to go over it again to make it clear. When the girl brings this thing up. She's cheating. She already has somebody ready to go, or somebodies, multiple somebodies, or she's already cheating on you. Guaranteed. Overwhelmingly. And it's been proven time and time again. I did a story the other day. Most of you saw it. About the guy who dumped his wife immediately after she brought up. And people were tearing apart in the comment section because there was no proof. Blah, blah, blah. He should just let her talk. Next day, guess what? He found proof. And all those people had to eat their words. And this is titled, Girlfriend Asked for an Open Relationship. Is there any chance of saving this? Now, don't worry. He's not going to save it. And a shout out to A. Hale for sending me this story. This guy says, hello all. Hope you're all having a good start to your weekend. I can't say mine has been great. I apologize that this sub isn't the right place for a question like this, but it feels like it fits. Uh, let's just get into it. This morning, my girlfriend, who we will call Rose, a 24-year-old female, told me she needed to talk to me about something very important. Oh, he's like, okay. It turns out this important thing was to ask if we could, wait for it, open up the relationship. This felt like a huge gut punch. I really thought we had a good relationship. I'm 25 and we've been together for two and a half years. How many times have you heard these stories? We were in a great relationship. I thought everything was wonderful. And then she asked that. I was pretty stunned and I think she could tell because she seemed to backtrail very quickly. I asked her why would she want to open up the relationship and she said she thinks it would help us both grow. <laughs> Grow, huh? Sure. Newsflash. She doesn't give a shit about you. She's cheating. She wants to grow with some other dude and keep you around, you know, just in case when she gets bored with that guy. What does that mean? Anyway, I won't go over the whole conversation. I tried to stay calm as much as I could. Eventually, I told her I'd like her to leave while I thought about everything. She seemed pretty distraught, which makes me wonder if she thought I'd react differently. Well, she probably thought that uh, you would <laughs> just cave because you don't want to lose her. Given to her demands. That's probably what she thought. Anyway, my main question, is there any chance of saving this? Smack! Now he does come to his senses, but I'm smacking him anyway. Dude, you really have to ask that. I get you're blindsided and hurt and everything. Fine, fair enough. Someone you deeply care about and invested two and a half years of your life with. But there's no saving a relationship when this girlfriend tells you she wants to go fuck other dudes. Are you out of your mind? Come on, you have some self-respect. And, and he does. Really, up until this point, I thought things were going good. Clearly not, amigo. Maybe I'm still kind of in shock. You are. But I like to possibly save the relationship. Smack! I know you don't, but stop saying that shit. This literally happened like an hour ago, and I'm really having a difficult time processing this. But I feel really hurt, and I've always heard that when one partner requests to open a relationship, that's basically over. You heard right. Maybe you read these things, or maybe you saw one of my videos one time, but now it's happening to you. People are probably like, this will never happen to me. Until it does. Any advice is appreciated. Has anyone ever gone through a situation like this, or does it always end in shit? Thank y'all. Yes, it always ends in shit. But you need to kick that piece of shit girlfriend to the curb. He also says, okay, y'all have convinced me. I was already leaning towards ending everything, but considering I haven't gotten a single person telling me this would work out, or that she probably isn't already cheating, I think it's time to end it. I'm going to call her right now and have her come get her stuff. Luckily, we do not share an apartment, so not too much will need to be moved. Thanks for all the advice, everyone. I genuinely appreciate it. You're welcome, and thank you you came to your senses. Of course, it took all these people telling him that. Another little update. He says, she's very upset, y'all, yelling at me about how I can end the relationship over a question. I should have just packed her stuff up and had her come get it, lol. Should, should not have called. Now he's the bad guy. He wouldn't just... Listen to her, and, and, and it's a question. It's never an honest question. Women are very slick about these types of things. Remember, men are typically direct and to the point about what they want. 
women will hint and speak in innuendos and things like that. Dip, it's like the fucking pool or the ocean. You dip your foot in the ocean to see how goddamn cold it is before you get in there, you know? Women do the same thing with guys about bringing things up, you know? But that's their way of saying this. And it wasn't just a question. Bullshit. This guy, I've quickly learned, he, there was, something was going on. Now for the major update and where the fireworks are going to begin. This guy says, well, today has sucked ass. When Rose came over to pick up her stuff, well, it didn't go quite like that. She was quite adamant that we were not breaking up, especially over a hypothetical situation. She's telling you we're not breaking up. If she's asking you about, if she's asking slash demanding open relationship and now telling you you're not breaking up, clearly her opinion of this guy is he's weak. That's, that's what it communicates to me. Well, I'm not exactly proud of this, but I sort of blew up at her. Dude, while I say don't give women drama, I got no problem with this guy's pissed off and letting her have it. We had a relationship where I never really yelled, so I think it might have scared her, honestly. And again, I'm not exactly proud of it, but I really wanted to get some answers. After reading all the comments, y'all had me convinced that she was cheating. Eventually, she completely broke down, and guess what? Some of y'all were right. She had already slept with someone. There you go. Remember her saying it was just a question and we're not breaking up. There you go. Either already hooking up with someone or planning on hooking up. Uh, she already slept with someone. Hypothetical my ass. I really thought I felt broken earlier. It turns out I didn't even know the definition. Well, dude, I'm sorry you're going through that. I mean, I've been cheated on in my past. Yes, I have. To all the people like, who hurts you? And it feels awful. And a lot of you have. And you never forget it. And you'll get over it. But I sympath. I have my sympathy. But it'll take time. But the most important thing, part of healing, is getting rid of the thing that's causing you pain. I felt an insane mix of emotions, mostly rage and sadness. A great combination. Honestly, there was a moment where I thought I was going to put a hole in the wall, and I'm proud of myself for not doing that. I calmly told her to get her shit and leave. She was in hysterics at this point. She kept telling me we can get through this and not to throw our relationship away. <laughs> Ho bag Handbook, Chapter 9. Um, she's the one that cheated. She's the one that brought this up. And he's the guy throwing the relationship away? Yeah, okay. God's sakes. I simply told her that she did that. I just sat on my couch, numb, waiting for her to grab her crap. Eventually, she left. Some of you probably could have predicted this, but she ended up leaving a decent amount of crap here. I should have just packed it all up for her when she got here. So inevitably, I'll have to deal with that. She left a bunch of stuff at your place on purpose. And that way, she has an excuse to come back and turn things up quite a bit in terms of the crying and gaslighting and drama so you don't break up with her. That's why. You need to pack up every possible thing that she could remotely lay claim to in your house or apartment and either drop it off on her doorstep in the middle of the night or have somebody else drop it off so you don't have to interact with a bitch. <clears throat> he says, I continue saying, Sorry, I stopped responding to y'all. I've been sitting on the couch just thinking everything. My phone is blowing up with messages from Rose, her best friend, and her sister. Shocker. I don't even know how to tell my friends and family. I think I'm just going to pack the rest of her crap up and have one of my friends take it to her. Don't really want to see her again. I feel nauseous. Dude, control the narrative. As embarrassing as this is, because nobody wants to admit their girl's cheating on them, tell all your friends and family exactly what happened ASA fucking P. Otherwise, she's going to spin it as you're the bad guy, amongst other things. Trust me. <clears throat> Thank you all for the advice. I'm glad I listened to you guys and didn't get tricked into something stupid. I didn't mention this in the first post, but this was my first real relationship. So I was hesitant at first to let go. Having a hard time processing how different my life was literally 13 hours ago. I appreciate everyone who left a comment or reached out. Bro, I'm sorry it happened to you. It's happened to a lot of guys. And you know what? In the end, you handled it quite well. Yeah, I get you were blindsided by this. And at first you're thinking, Whoa, how can I save this? No. You can't be with someone like this. And she's going to try every dirty trick and tactic to try to get you to take her back. Her friends are going to bombard you with texts. Her sister, her fucking FedEx driver, anybody, her, you know, her swimming coach, anybody to get you to change your mind. Don't take her back. 
And since this was your first relationship, I'm getting you're, you're older. I'm guessing that probably you were more into it than she was, and she knew that, and therefore she instantly figured I can pull bullshit and keep this guy around. You know, and end of freaking story. That's how it is. So I'm sorry it happened, and you wasted two and a half years of your life. But you take this one day at a time. You make sure you, you can be, have a weekend where you're depressed and don't come out, and you can cry and yell and everything like that, and let, let the emotions out because it's healthy to do so. Don't let her see that. And then you start the process of moving on. You get out, you exercise, you go to the gym. Don't stay put. Don't consume. Don't resort to drinking alcohol and drugs and eating a bunch of garbage. I'll make it worse. Be around people that care about you, friends, family, and all that. Again, tell the friends and family the truth. And it take it one day at a time. And you're not going to get over two and a half years too quickly. I mean, I guarantee you that. But it will get better over time. And it will be emotional roller coasters, but it will get better. I promise you that. But don't take her back. And next time, be all the wiser and make sure that she, the future girlfriends are more into the relationship than you are. Otherwise, s- suffer the fate you will. Whatever whatever Yoda said, suffer your father's fate you will. I- I'm having a Star Wars moment here. That makes no fucking sense, but I wanted to say it anyway. So, bro, good luck, and uh, may the Force be with you.